Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Tune In Tuesday. So last week we spoke about the importance of taking time out of your day to go outdoors and connect with nature and whilst you're out and about you can do some litter picking too. Well for this week's Tune In Tuesday I'm showing you what I got up to this weekend. Now it's a little bit windy, rainy, my van is literally shaking in the wind right now but I've come to Rock Beach. Now you may remember from Tune In Tuesdays in the past where I've come here there's a really bad problem with microplastics washing in and washing out of the sand. The biggest issue that I think we have here is that the sand dunes are eroding at an alarming rate and we know from what's happening at Constantine Bay the problems that this brings. Not only are sand dunes essential barriers to protect the land against flooding but are also important blue carbon stores. So if we lose the sand dunes we're losing the protection of the coast but also we're losing a sink of carbon which we know is essential for reducing the climate change crisis. So what we're going to do, Bella and I, Bella, is we're going to go and walk along the beach. We're going to show you the sand dune erosion and then I'll show you some of the, the microplastics that are washing in and we'll have a go at clearing some of it up. Now in previous times where I've come to clean here we've found some Lego, we've found some crisp packets, we've found some army men so we never know what we might find. Bella are you excited? <laughs> Let's go. Tuesday we've come across loads of stuff that we didn't expect to find. We haven't even got to the beach yet, we've just literally walked 20 meters along the path down to the beach and we've literally filled this whole bag with poo bags. We must have got at least a hundred so far. By the end of the video we'll count but we're going to keep going down to the beach. We'll try and get down to the sand dunes but if we keep getting swamped with poo bags and it's just going to be a poo bag galore video. up and up and that's why we find 
old crisp packets in here because it's literally just been building up through the years but in just one storm it can take it all away again. they're getting eroded and any plastic that was stuck in the dunes is spilling out onto the beach and up onto the strand line and I've shown you this in a previous tune in Tuesday but it's all come back out again all of these specks that's all plastic a large majority of it is polystyrene but there are so many plastics in here so we're gonna have a little bit of a beach clean and also see if we can find any treasures It is absolutely wild out there. I think Bella has had enough. It was like walking through jelly at points because the wind was so fierce in our faces and it was so much fun and it was such an adventure. I mean, we found the sand dunes and we were showing the erosion, which is what we set out to do. And it's so tragic to see those overhangs of the dunes just hanging on for dear life in the, in the storm. And then we saw the microplastics and we found the toy soldiers and the smarties lids on the beach and we did a bit of a beach clean. But the most shocking thing from this week's episode has to be the thing that we didn't set out looking for. And that is the stark quantities of poo bags that we found. My goodness, last week's Tune In Tuesday, I think we found over one a minute and we were out for about 40 minutes, if I remember off the top of my head. Now we've been out for just under an hour, about 55 minutes. And today we found 106 poo bags 106 and that was literally on just the tiny stretch of coastal path from the car park to where the river meets the beach and that is less than a mile if you know rock well you'll know that that is a really short distance to be have that concentration of 106 poo bags and guaranteed we didn't get them all but the most tragic thing about it is is that i'd say about 80 percent of them were these green poo bags with degradable written all over them which I think is one of the most upsetting parts of the plastic pollution campaign and that is this is the finest example of greenwashing we have in that these bags are sold as the eco alternative to the plastic bag the fossil fuel plastic bag now just because it says degradable doesn't mean that it will actually degrade in the environment. Actually, the conditions that these bags need to start breaking down are entirely absent in the environment. And people are spending a little bit extra on these bags that they think are the green alternative. They're bagging up their poo bag and they're leaving it in the environment because they're none the wiser because they've been told that they will biodegrade. But this is not the truth. So if you are picking up your poo in a bag, whatever bag that that may be it needs to be going in the bin so a bit of a gross tune in Tuesday again but it's still exciting and you know that I love a dog poo bag hunt still haven't beaten my record from two years ago which was 202 poo, ba poo bags but there's still time so thank you so much for watching this week's tune in Tuesday and of course stay safe take care and I'll see you next week for next week's episode <laughs>